Hey, happy Friday, everyone. Getting a little bit later start today. It's uh, 1246. It's Friday, 223, second day back from the NBA All-Star break. Uh, this is the video where each day we go through how to find positive EV plays using Outlier. We're tracking it all on Picket. Uh, we've been at this about a month now. We're up about 20% on our initial bankroll. So let's get right into it. Let's uh, do as we always do. We'll go recap Picket from yesterday. Took a bit of a hit, mostly on college sports. You can still see, you know, we're up actually about an even hundred now on this um, on this test. Again, we're running a $500 bankroll. You could see overall, where's where we're at, up about 12%. Yesterday on pro, uh, sorry, NBA and college basketball, we went game lines, we went up uh, about 1%. And then we actually took a little bit of a hit, went down about 20% on our player props. This is a mix of um, NBA player props as well as college player props. We had some do not plays in here as well. But overall, we're looking to get back into it. Um, because I have a later start today, we're also going to, I think I'm going to skip college basketball for the sake of this video and uh, just focus on NBA, especially because that's where I think we've been getting the most value given our system. So for everyone that's been here before sorry we're going through this again um but we go through everything twice we go through and we look at game lines and team props first and then we refresh change our dvig book and then we look at player props so let's get right into it so for game props we leave our default dvig book as pinnacle dvig method we've been having the most luck with shin again it's a little bit more conservative not as much volume um but Again, you can see we've had a 20% ROI over the past month using it. Kelly multiplier for game lines. We set that at one quarter Kelly, um, basically saying this is how much of our bankroll we are going to bet based on the expected value and the uh, implied probability. Uh, EV, we're looking for uh, plays that are 3% EV or above. We're not going to touch the Kelly filter or the VIG filter. We are going to go with bet types and make that game lines and team props only. And then leagues, it looks like we only have, we got some college in here. So we'll, we'll take the college bets. Um, so what we're going to do, again, you could filter the books that you're going to place these bets on up at the top. I like to look at it all at once. And it looks like we're mostly FanDuel right now based on the time of day. So we're going to take these all here and based on these kelly percents if you remember we have our uh, our bankroll guide so one percent kelly is five dollars two percent kelly is ten dollar bets again that's based off of a five hundred dollar bankroll if you've been betting on positive ev for a while your bankroll is probably in the thousands of dollars but you could also start with a hundred dollar bankroll and still grow from there but you could just see our, our bet size amounts here so we're going to be betting five dollars and less across these so we will set our book to FanDuel and start placing these bets. Only five bets poured it over. I'm wondering why. Maybe there's some games in Jersey or something like that. Warriors, no, Penguins, Panthers. Let me see what we're missing out on. Let me try that again. I had to bet. So the markets might have moved. Very well possible. No. Okay. We'll take the five that we got. Um, so we got to log in. I know I promise it every single time. I always forget to log in before we do this video. Actually, let's clear this bet slip and refresh. I'm just concerned that some of the other lines might have moved in this time. So I'm just going to reset my filters here. Shin. 3%. One quarter Kelly. Again, you should, if you're using Outlier, you should take your time to go through everything. Um, but for the sake of shooting these videos, I move pretty fast. And uh, Okay, so we got a couple more. That we picked in here. I wonder if 
they will port over properly. No, we're still at seven. See what the issue is. All right, it's only gonna give me five. So we'll take those five. So we gotta just make sure we're looking at the right stuff. So we got Young Sound versus Milwaukee. Uh, 1%, 1.9%. EV. So that's $5. And then after that, Five dollars, and then the next one that we had was Golden State. Where's first quarter points? Point six nine. So we do a quick look on that. It's about three dollars. We want to use round numbers when we're doing this. Uh, wait, those second quarter points. Don't say first quarter points. That was actually this one. So again, that's why we got to pay attention. Let's find the Golden State second quarter points here. Money line, 0.44. So 0.44 on here. Again, it's a little bit less. We'll call it $3 still. We got Kent State and Akron. Alt total, 134. It's 1.3%. So if we look at this, it's called $7. It would be around this range. And then Wizards versus OKC first quarter. Washington 0.66. That's also going to be in that three dollar range. So we're going to get all these bets down. Love to look into why these other two did not port over. Looks like the Penguins versus the Panthers didn't port, and then also this Peacocks versus Mountaineers. Peacocks from Mount Saint. Oh, Saint Peter's. That's why I can't bet. But I can't bet Saint Peter's in New Jersey. That's why that one didn't come over. So let me clear the bet slip. So we got a few down. Make some room on my screen. So now we're going to go do player props. We're going to do a quick refresh. And our DVIG book for player props, we're going to use FanDuel. And our DVIG method is still going to be Shin. Kelly multiplier. So we use 1 8th Kelly for player props because there's just more variance in them. Um, we want to hedge our risk a little bit more. Still looking for 3% EV and our bet types. I'm looking for player props. And I also don't really want to touch college basketball player props. I haven't had the best luck with it. A lot of bets here. So let me do DraftKings first, and then we'll see how far into MGM we can get because I need to hop to another call in five minutes. Um, all right, so now we're down to one quarter Kelly here. These are pretty small numbers, but you know we're going to take it because this is a volume game. DraftKings, 10 of 11. What did I mess up here? This one, it's not on DraftKings. All right, add all the bet slip. DraftKings got a little bit easier login process. Oop, maybe. Saw some red there. All right, we got Jay Crowder over one and a half. Let's just make sure these are coming through. So 2.24 Kelly, that's a lot to bring in here. So we'll do, it's about $11. And that's why we use a quarter Kelly because it would be crazy to put $20 on the, uh, well, it is minus 190, but we're following the method. So Kyle Kuzma under 22 and a half. This is going to be $5. Jalen Johnson rebounds also five and Damian Lillard. We just want to make sure that these go in order. DraftKings, we do a good job about dropping them out, dropping them down in order. So you got Jalen Johnson, RA, 0.77. So we'll call that four bucks. Brandon Ingram over 11 and a half. This scratched yesterday. Hopefully he's healthy now. 0.57. That's $3. Jordan Poole. Where's Jordan Poole? This one, $3. This is good. We're getting a lot of volume here. Michael Porter Jr. And Mike Conley, let's just put these together. 
0.39.25. So we're going to put a dollar down on the rest of these. All right, so we'll get those cleared out. We're going to clear all from bet slip. And then, so we took everything that was drafting. So we'll go back and take the ones that are solely MGM. So there's a few. Caesars. All right, six on MGM. I'm going to end up skipping the Caesars ones just for time sake. And then I'll probably log back in a little bit later to uh, to try to catch some more game and team props for the NBA here. So lock these in so you can see it. I will tag all of these in Picket and then share them in the chat. And of course, I need to log in again. Zero four six one two zero. Let me get these down. I really appreciate everyone following along on these. Um, everyone in the Discord, as well as people that have been finding us on YouTube that might not have heard of Outlier beforehand. So let's see. We got Michael Conley Jr. assists. We got that one in at five. Tyler. RNA, we'll call that one four. Devin Vassell, three. Tyler Harrow's four. Devin Vassell, three. Yusuf, getting more Tyler. This is going to be, what did we say 0. 0.5 was? It's three. We'll do three, three. Uh, Kuzma, why'd we end? Oh, okay. Three, three, and then two. Let's do that. Three, three, and then two. Let's make sure that total stake 20 bucks. That makes sense. And we're all locked in. So we put down, once, we, once I have these able to port over to pick it, I have a full analysis, but it looks like we got 20 and 25 markets put down um, and we'll analyze them from there. Thanks for following along. Best of luck on your bets and we'll uh, catch up if not over the weekend back on Monday. Thank you.